In other news, China on Monday says it opposes geopolitical calculations in the name of promoting global infrastructure development as a group of seven leaders pledged to raise $600 billion in financing developing countries to counter Beijing's Belt and Road Initiative. Take a look. Today, we officially launched the Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment. We collectively have dozens of projects already underway around the globe. And I'm proud to announce the United States will mobilize $200 billion in public and private capital over the next five years for that partnership. We're here today because we're making this commitment together as a G7 in coordination with one another to maximize the impact of our work. Collectively, we aim to mobilize nearly $600 billion from the G7 by 2027. We need to strengthen the use of trusted technologies so that our online information cannot be used by autocrats to consolidate their power or repress their people. That's why the Digital Invest program is mobilizing $335 million in private capital to supply secure network equipment in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. And the U.S. government the accusation that Belt and Road has caused that trap is a false accusation. In the past nine years since the inception of Belt and Road Initiative, it upholds the principles of extensive consolidation, wide contribution, and shared benefits, delivering tangible benefits for relevant countries and peoples, according to a statistic from World Bank. If all transport infrastructure projects are implemented under the Belt and Road Initiative, then by 2030, it will generate 1.6 trillion U.S. dollars of benefit globally, accounting for 1.3 percent of the world's GDP. And 90 percent of that will be shared among partner countries. The fact is the United States is the country that creates that traps. Its expansionary monetary policy, uh, financial innovation with lax supervision and ill-intended short-selling have aggravated the debt burden of developing countries. It has a responsibility for those countries falling into the debt traps. As for the new initiative proposed by G7, China welcomes all initiatives that promote global infrastructure. We believe that there is no such thing as relevant initiatives countering or replacing each other. What we oppose is the moves to advance geopolitical calculation and smear the BRI in the name of promoting infrastructure development. The G7 group of rich democracies on Sunday announced an attempt to compete with China's formidable Belt and Road Initiative by raising some $600 billion for global infrastructure programs in poor countries. Unlike China's state-run Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI, the proposed G7 funding would depend largely on private companies and being willing to commit to massive investments and is therefore not guaranteed. 